Hi, everyone. I'm joined up here by Rezvan Baraitaru from Revo. And uh, today, we're thrilled to show you a first glimpse of our new flight sim game, Sky Gambler's Air Supremacy, running on the new iPad. Great gaming experiences are about immersion, being able to really lose yourself in the game. And the new iPad helps us achieve this in two key ways. First, the extra graphics performance lets us increase the level of detail of everything in the game. And second, the astonishing resolution of the new display means absolutely none of this detail goes to waste. Just look at the heat haze coming off of the engines here. Look at the, the scale of this city. Look at the detail in its buildings. And uh, check this out. Now, aerobatic maneuvers like this are just what real planes can do. And with, with our simple gesture-based controls, even novice players are going to be able to try them out for themselves. Now, Resvan's going to go on patrol and show us a little more of that action. All right, we've got a carrier out there. It just launched three fighters. Uh, Rezvan, why don't you take out the carrier first before it uh, does any more damage? Target locked. This is the way. Ah, excellent. Nice shot. Now, OK, that's, that's 50 jets up there in a dogfight. Uh, this action's a little bit too hot, so Rezvan, why don't, you, why don't you just bail out? To do this, he shakes the device, it'll pop that chute, and he can uh, live to fly another day. <laughs> Sky Gambler's Air Supremacy delivers console-quality single and multiplayer experiences. An experience that not even this giant screen here could actually show you. The only place to truly experience the intensity of action, that richness of detail, is on the new iPad itself. Sky Gambler's Air Supremacy launches exclusively on iOS later this month. Thank you. Thank you, James. It's absolutely incredible to have that level of gaming now in a device you carry around with you. It's never been done before. Well, next up, Autodesk. I'm sure you've heard of Autodesk. They make incredible professional graphic software for so many uses. They brought AutoCAD to the Mac. It's doing well. And they've created a line of products for iPad that are amazing. And a lot of professionals count on their drawing tools with Sketchbook Pro. So I'm really excited to bring up Chris Chung, Sketchbook Product Line Manager, to show you a brand new project running on the new iPad. Chris? Welcome. Thank you, Phil. Two and a half years ago, Sketchbook became Autodesk's first breakthrough app on iOS. And it had a profound impact on our company. Today, we have 15 Autodesk titles on the App Store that have been downloaded more than 20 million times. Let me put that in perspective. In our 29-year history, Autodesk has become a leader in software with over 10 million professional customers on desktop. With iOS, we've been able to reach tens of millions of new users in only two years. It's amazing. Today, I'm excited to show you something new. With the help of Lawrence Yang, I want to introduce Sketchbook Inc. Sketchbook Inc. is a new drawing app that focuses on line art. So it's totally complementary with Sketchbook Pro. In fact, Lawrence actually started this piece in Sketchbook Pro and is using the painting he created as a background. You'll notice right away that we take a lot of design cues from Sketchbook Pro. We have two customizable panels on the sides, one for ink styles, the other for color swatches. We have an inkwell on top for quick access to color selection and a simple toolbar. For ink, we developed a brand new engine. 
one that really takes advantage of the incredible graphic power of the new iPad. This is not an ordinary vector application. It's not the same technology, and it's not the same interaction. It's resolution independent, so you can see, no matter how far you zoom, all the strokes stay crisp and smooth. This also allows us to export massive images uh, in excess of 100 megapixels. So, um, you know, there's a reason why they call this the visual arts. You have to see it with your eyes. Retina display is luscious. It takes it to the next level and creates an immersive environment. Professional and everyday artists are going to love this device and it's gonna inspire them to create beautiful pieces of artwork, just like what Lawrence has been creating for you live today. Which by the way, dude, that's pretty amazing. For 90 seconds, Autodesk Sketchbook Inc. will be available this April exclusively on iOS. Thank you very much. And it's one of these things that wait till you see it and try it. The, the, using your finger to draw on a resolution of a display that you cannot even see pixels with vector drawing tools is truly a breakthrough. Well, for our third and Last demo, Epic Games. Well, if you know Epic Games, you know they've created some landmark titles that have pushed the boundaries of what anyone thought was possible in a mobile device. And they're going to do it again with another amazing new project. And to show you this new project running on the new iPad, I'd like to bring up Mike Capps, president of Epic Games. Mike? Hey. Welcome. Thanks a lot, Tom. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it is great to be back. So just like Apple has raised the bar today for mobile computing, Epic's iOS-exclusive franchise, Infinity Blade, has been raising the bar for mobile gaming. And uh, we're really excited to do that with the new iPad. So today, I'm going to introduce Epic's Rod Ferguson and the latest chapter in the Infinity Blade saga, Dungeons. So in Dungeons, you are the apprentice to the master of the forge and you're on a quest to craft the ultimate weapon, the Infinity Blade. So you guys are in for a visual feast of unprecedented detail today. I mean, seriously, these leaves here are blocking the light from the sun, right? So let's dive into this abandoned mine, and as soon as we go in, you're gonna notice that your eyes, pupils are adjusting to the darkness. Cool grays are gonna give way to warm orange tones from the lava. That's a technique called tone mapping that our cinematographers use to dynamically adjust brightness and color palettes for better immersion. And of course, just like all our products, this is running real time. Rod, if you want to zoom in and show them the incredible detail we're getting here. Yeah, well, that's enough sightseeing, Mike. Uh, if we're going to craft the Infinity Blade, I need the fire silk from the Spider Queen. Oh, abandoned, huh? A few quick swipes, but now with the touch interface, I just pulled and I can connect my enemies for a chain attack. Awesome. So, well, it is, come on. So, uh, depth of field post-processing is, is really paying off here. You can see the lava fields and the landscapes in the background. That's a filmmaker's technique to separate and point your eye to certain parts of the screen. Also show the depth and scale of the world. Yeah, whatever, Mike, there's a treasure chest here. It's all about the money. It, it kind of looks like a trap though, Rod. Let's we'll see. Oh, sweet iron ore. I need that. Oh, uh, but that's not good. Kind of looks like a trap, Rod. <laughs> uh, maybe I can kind of sneak out this way. No, ow. Ow. No. Time for double smash. Finish him off. Nice. Ding, level seven. As we nerds say, grats, Rod. <laughs> so you can see during that close-up how the Unreal Engine is unleashing the power of the new iPad for just unparalleled character detail and environments. 
I mean, if you think about it, uh, this new device actually has more memory and higher screen resolution than an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3. So these guys are redefining mobile gaming again. Uh, this could be it, Mike. Gee, gee what was your first clue, Rod? <laughs> All right, come to Papa. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a lot of spiders. Fortunately, a few quick circles and ice spikes. I am 100% certain that was a trap. <laughs> Thanks. So Infinity Blade Dungeons will bring a robust crafting system, dynamic dungeon crawling all to the world of Infinity Blade, and it's only going to look like this and play like this on the new iPad. Infinity Blade 2 is available right now on the App Store, and Dungeons will be coming soon. Thanks, everybody, for playing. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Phil. Appreciate it. Amazing. Tim, I'm going to need a few weekends off to catch up and play that. Well, as you may recall, when we launched the first iPad, we launched some software applications with it to demonstrate how far you could go with creativity software. And that was iWork. We launched iWork with the first iPad. And it really set a high bar for what was possible. As you know, iWork includes keynote, pages, and numbers. And we're updating them for the new iPad. You're going to find in these new applications stunning new 3D charts and animations. You're going to see new builds and transitions. But most importantly, you're going to see all three have been updated to take full advantage of this retina display. And the documents you can create with the new iWork applications are truly stunning. These applications are going to remain $9.99 each. And if you've purchased them before, it's a free update. And they're available starting today on the App Store. And then with the iPad 2, we introduced some other applications as well iLife applications with GarageBand and iMovie. And they're being updated as well. GarageBand has a new version. It adds some great new features. Smart strings join smart guitars, smart keyboards, and smart drums so you can have your own string orchestra accompanying your music. It has a note editor, so after you've created your song, you can go back and change your performance. You can use iCloud to make sure you have your your songs that you created on all your devices. And there's great new ways to share the songs you create with friends. But the best new feature is something we call Jam Session. So now up to four iOS devices running GarageBand can all play together and at the same time create a new song over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. It's really cool. And to show you what it looks like, we've got a very brief video. Let's listen to it. 